All right, but the big uh, news that we're tracking at this hour, Mumbai Sessions Court has held a security guard guilty of all offences in the 2012 murder of a young lawyer, Pal Pallavi Purkayast. Sajjad Ahmad Patan, the security guard of the Wadala apartment in which 25-year-old Pallavi lived, has been found guilty of murder, molestation and trespassing. Pallavi's body was found in a pool of blood by her fiancé, Avik Sen Gupta. On the 9th of August, uh, two years ago, that's in 2012, Sen Gupta unfortunately also died of an illness in November last year. All right, my colleague uh, Saurabh Gupta, who's been tracking that case since the morning, uh, now joins me live from Mumbai. Uh, Saurabh, uh, many would say this was, in a sense, an open and shut case. That's right, Kashish. And for all of us who've known Pallavi uh, over the years, it, it, the, the verdict is actually a... It comes as something that, you know, the family had been expecting. They, they, they want nothing less than death penalty for uh, the accused, uh, for the convict now in this case. And remember, he was apprehended nearly 24 hours after the crime before he could escape from the city. He had tried to escape. And it was a brutal end for a young lawyer uh, in the city of Mumbai and not anywhere but in the safety of her own home. So for all her friends, for all our fam family who've been tracking this case, it's... Uh, I mean, it, the verdict will not really help them get over the wound or the pain that they've uh, felt through the loss of Pallavi and subsequently Avik, uh, who also uh, had deposed in the case but later passed away due to uh, an illness. But clearly now they're saying that at least that somewhere down the line that this verdict will send a message that crimes against women in this city need to stop in a city where uh, which is known to be for women. And of course, for friends and uh, family of Pallavi, it, it, of course, they were here in court today to hear the verdict. Um, it, it is uh, the only thing that they say is we remember. Uh, in fact, right. I'm speaking to Pallavi's mother. And, and they have to be hospitalized. Both of them have to be hospitalized. Police ki puri investigation se aap log santushta. Bilkul santushta. Police ki puri investigation se bahut santushta. Aur hum unko dhanyavad bhi karna chahenge ki itna jaldi unhone itna mehnat karke isko nikala. Aur hum ye bhi bolte hain. Mumbai police ne bahut bahut hi acha ki kyunki ye bahut difficult case tha, par Mumbai police ne bahut acha kam kiya iske. Uske jo team, whether it's John C P Himanshu Roy or the addition C P Kaushik. और प्रीवियस सीपी अरूप पटनायक या मिस्टर सिंह और जो आईओ है मिस्टर ताउडे इन्होंने इतना बारीकी से एंड मिस्टर उज्जल निगम के लिए मुझे कहने का कुछ है नहीं All right, uh, those were the parents of uh, uh, Pallavi Purkayas uh, uh, congratulating um, the Joint Commissioner of Police, the Mumbai Police, uh, for cracking this case in the way that they did. And also, uh, we're now also joined on the phone line by former Joint Commissioner of Police, Himanshu Roy. Um, so thank you for speaking to NDTV. At the time when this murder had happened, you had called this perversion of the highest order and asked for a death penalty uh, for the guilty. Absolutely. Uh, you, uh, you know, we were shocked by the heinousness of the crime, the way he had committed it, the perversity and the cruelty that he had displayed. And uh, uh, we all thought that uh, this uh, required nothing but the maximum sentence uh, under law. Uh, so if you could just, uh, you know, uh, I was talking to my colleague Saurabh Gupta who's been tracking that case for the last two years. Would you say in many ways this was uh, more or less an open and shut case? You know, no case of this nature is really an open edge case because there is a presumption of innocence uh, of the accused and the evidence has to be led by the prosecution and proven to accept the circumstances of eyewitness accounts, etc. Often if we get a conviction in the middle, it, it needs the evidence to be led in a strong way. So we were never complacent about it. and. We took uh, up the challenge accordingly and we were successful in uh, getting a conviction. Um, sir, uh, would you say that, uh, you know, her fiancé, who unfortunately died last year due to an illness, Avik Sen Gupta, was he uh, the key witness in a sense, not witness, but was he the key point in the case for you to crack this case? Sorry, uh, can you please repeat uh, the sentence? Yes, uh, sir, I was just asking, you know, uh, uh, Pallavi's uh, fiancé, Avik Sen Gupta, oh. who she was living with, uh, the man she was messaging at the time when this entire incident happened, would you say he was the key, uh, he was the key person who helped you crack the case? 
Sorry, can you repeat the sentence? There is some problem with the phone line, I think. Yeah, I was just uh, trying to understand, sir, that Avik Sen Gupta, Pallavi's fiancé, who unfortunately died last year because of illness, uh, was he the key person who helped crack this case? You know, I must say that uh, he was wonderful in his support for uh, the prosecution. And even though he was so traumatized at the time by the events which had happened, uh, he... he uh, he quickly regained his composure and he told us about, uh, you know, the background of the events which helped us in collecting evidence and improving the case. It's very unfortunate that he isn't here today to see the conclusion of this. But uh, yes, he was of great help. All right. Uh, so just one, one final question, uh, you know, in Mumbai, uh, which is always considered to be a very safe city for women, uh, you know, when this case had happened, there had been... Uh, uh, you know, so many people had become really worried about how, uh, you know, Mumbai was also becoming a city which was unsafe uh, for women. In a sense, do you think the fact that uh, this year, this case has been cracked in two years, do you think that will allay some of those fears? Absolutely. Whether it is uh, this case or it's the Shakti Mills case, the Mumbai police has the ability to take these cases to their logical conclusion in, in a short period of time and convict the accused. In Shakti Mills, we've got a death sentence. Uh, in this, we are hoping for the same. So I think, yes, the Mumbai police is up to the task, and we're doing everything possible for the safety of our women. All right. Um, that's uh, former Joint Commissioner of Police, Himanshu Roy, speaking to NDTV about the Pallavi Purkhayast case, uh, which, in fact, uh, uh, the Mumbai Sessions Court has just announced that uh, the guard has been held guilty of all charges, and that includes... Uh, and that includes, of course, uh, uh, Section 302, which is uh, uh, punishment for murder, and Section 449 for trespassing, and also the Section 354, which is uh, assault and molestation. <laughs> Oh, wow. Stay. 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 लेकिन हमें तो उसके मौत के उसके सजाए उसके सजाए मौत के अलावा किसी से भी संतुष्ट नहीं उसने दो दो खून किए हैं एक पल्लव भी दूसरा अभी दो परिवार को मतलब तबाह कर दिया पिछले दो साल से हम नरक में जी रहे हैं हम एक पल भी हम नहीं शांति से रह पा रहे हैं दो साल से हम दो परिवार एकदम तबाही हो गया दोनों परिवार का उसका सबसे बदतर परिश्रम होना चाहिए डेथ नथिंग लेस देन डेथ सो दैट इट सब इज अ डिटरेंट टू द अदर पोटेंशियल कल्पिट्स सटेनली ऐसे लोगों को तो डेथ ही मिलना चाहिए डेथ होगा तभी सोसाइटी को कोई मैसेज जाएगा नहीं तो उसके एनीथिंग लेस देन डेथ नहीं जाएगा मुझे नहीं मालूम पुलिस ने जो जो इन्वेस्टिंग सामने आया वो कोर्ट के सामने पेश कर दिया बिल्कुल सजाए मौत होना चाहिए और क्या चाहिए माँ को और क्या चाहिए होता है लड़की इस तरह से चली गई तो और क्या चाहिए माँ को बिल्कुल सजाए मौत होना चाहिए आई वॉन्ट द डेथ पेनल्टी डेफिनेटली फॉर यू आप आप आपको लगता है कहीं ना कहीं आपकी बेटी की लाइफ खत्म हो गई कहीं ना कहीं आपके पूरे परिवार को बहुत ज्यादा इफेक्ट किया बिल्कुल तबाही हो गई हमारी जिंदगी बेटी हमारी सब कुछ थी और बेटी भी चली गई होने वाले दिमाग भी चला गया और क्या बचा ही क्या जिंदगी में जो 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 चीज जो मिस कर जा रहा वो इसके साथ दो परिवार को ही हेज कमिटेड टू डेथ्स He has committed two deaths. Yes, he yeah. has devastated two families, mm -hmm. and he has 
socially, mentally, totally devastated two families. This thing doesn't come into the whole punishment. Punishment to crime was उसके में पर उसका जो impact रह जाता है जो दो साल से हम भोगत रहे उसका क्या judgment है? This thing must be taken into consideration. Thank you. All right, uh, that was uh, Pallivi uh, Purkhaya's parents uh, over there speaking outside the Mumbai Sessions Court where uh, Sajid Ahmed Pathan, the guard, the security guard in the Vadala apartments where Pallivi Purkhaya's 25-year-old lawyer lived, has been pronounced guilty of all charges including trespassing, molestation and of course the biggest charge, murder. That uh, incident took place on the 9th of August in 2012. Uh, it was a horrific, absolutely chilling crime in which uh, uh, we all uh, uh, remember talked about uh, that being a, a real uh, a crime that really uh, brought uh, Mumbai uh, to fears about how secure were women in the city. Uh, Pallavi Purkhayas was in fact uh, at her home in her apartment when that crime took place uh, late at night uh, when the power had gone out and uh, the allegations at the time were allegations at that time were that the security guard had uh, wanted to rape her and uh, he managed uh, to come into her apartment steal her keys and come back and rape her later and when she tried to forcefully resist he killed her he slit her throat with a knife uh, we'll of course uh, try and find out if uh, the guard uh, if Sajid's lawyers are going to appeal against that in a higher court but at the moment a growing demand a growing demand from the parents of Pallavi and also many others uh, for the death sentence of the of, uh, of the guard Sajid Ahmed Patan. But of course, uh, 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 by law, Sajid Ahmed Patan's lawyer could well file an appeal in a higher court. Uh, but uh, given that this is, uh, many have said that this was a fairly open and shut case, um, that may also not necessarily happen. But of course, that chilling crime in which uh, the Mumbai Sessions Court has pronounced. Sajid Ahmed Patan as guilty of that absolutely heinous and horrific crime on the 9th of August in 2012. All right, my colleague Saurabh uh, Gupta now joins me from outside the Mumbai Sessions Court. Uh, uh, Saurabh, uh, you know, we heard the parents over there talking about the fact that they want the death sentence. Of course, uh, uh, Himanshu Roy was also talking about wanting the extreme punishment so that it sets a precedent in a sense. Uh, but uh, uh, the parents of Pallavi actually also said that it's not just Pallavi who died, but also Avik Sen Gupta. So they actually hold him responsible for two deaths, Pallavi and of Avik Sen Gupta. That's right. For all of us who've known Pallavi and Avik and all of us who've known the family, this moment is actually, uh, well, uh, it doesn't really heal the pain much, but of course the pa the family is satisfied with the verdict that he's been proved guilty on all the charges. Uh, the family has, of course, thanked the police for uh, uh, the investigation and the quick action in arresting the accused. And what they say is they would have never imagined that a security guard of the building who was meant to protect uh, uh, people like Pallavi could have committed such a heinous crime. Uh, it was a sheer intent, a sheer lust that led to this crime. And of course, uh, today, uh, while the parents say that nothing can bring them back, uh, nothing can bring Pallavi back, and of course, they're devastated with her loss and they still continue to feel the pain. But at least there is some solace that her soul may find peace with him being found guilty and they demand the maximum punishment under the law which is the death sentence for him. Now he has been convicted on all the charges brought against him which includes a murder which is uh, section 302 of the Indian Penal Code. Apart from that there is section 354 of the Indian Penal Code and 449 and a section of the Bombay Police Act as well. He's been convicted under all these four sections. Now court will now hear arguments on the quantum of sentencing on the next day and the family says that they would want nothing less than the death penalty because he's not only uh, uh, left one family uh, in devastation but also two families. Avik could not take the shock after Pallavi's death. He's, he, he, crept, uh, he, he went into depression soon after and of course uh, a year later passed away uh, due to a brain illness so clearly uh, there are two families that have been completely uh, ruined by this uh, turn of events they still they still feel the pain and in fact i've been speaking to pallavi's friends i've been speaking to her uh, parents who were in court and they say that nothing less than the death 
penalty will suffice so that Pallavi's soul rests in, rest in peace. And Pallavi's father making that important point that, uh, that, the, that he hopes that young women and uh, young men are more careful about security uh, in a city like this. And that uh, would, of course, help. Uh, that would uh, uh, help, you know, not repeat incidents like these. And, of course, uh, for everyone who knew Pallavi, uh, they say that they want nothing less than the death penalty uh, for uh, this person who has been convicted under all the four charges that have been brought against him, including the charge of murder under Section 302 of the Indian Penal Code. All right, sort of really briefly, uh, you know, while of course there is a cr chorus uh, of uh, people demanding for the death penalty for this absolutely heinous, heinous crime, but uh, have you had a chat with uh, the lawyer of uh, Sajjad Pathan, are they going to file an appeal at all in a higher court or is this where it ends? Well, it's likely that they will file an appeal, but also that depends on... Uh and that will happen only after the quantum of sentencing and usually there is a procedure after this that whatever sentence is confirmed by a higher court, this is the uh, trial court, so of course after this it goes to the high court and that's the legal procedure. And that procedure will have to be f followed regardless of what the quantum of sentence is. Uh, we already know what the verdict is, that is he has been convicted for murder and other charges as well that has been brought against him. Uh, and the police were quick to arrest him uh, within 24 hours after the crime. He was arrested the next evening uh, while he was trying to flee the city. The murder weapon also was uh, recovered. And of course, two years later, uh, she died on August 9th, 2012. And two years later, we now have a judgment in the case and that we know that he has been convicted. So court has said that he, it was he actually who committed the crime. Uh, and of course, now the family and everyone who have been speaking to Pallavi's friends uh, say that they would want nothing less than the death penalty for him. And there is uh, precedence in law because remember there is... Um, uh, there was a, a famous uh, judgment in the Dhananjay case where again a security guard was involved uh, in the rape and murder right. of a young girl. So there again, there and of course now here also it's a security guard. So obviously the prosecution is going to quote all those cases in court uh, when it comes for arguments for the quantum of sentencing. All right, uh, sort of. So the next thing to watch out is the quantum of sentence, but of course a growing demand for death penalty for that heinous, heinous crime. Thanks, Saurabh, for all of those details.